Big news, Maserati sales are down 50% in the 2024 model year and the parent company Stellantis, well, who do they blame? Marketing. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video where as an advocator for Maserati, a lover of the brand and a previous owner two times over, well, I had to talk about this one because it's not looking good on the PR side of Maserati as well. Carlos Tavares, CEO of Stellantis, which is the parent company, has blamed marketing or the marketing strategy for Maserati's sales and performance in the 2024 model year as cars have been down. We're living in a crazy economy. We're living in high interest rates. We're living through a war. We're living through over here in the United States, a presidential election. And with all that said, a lot of people are not buying things as much as they you know, used to, you know, consumers it's really a different market when it comes to you know owning luxury items or you know having the necessities at home versus having more than what you need let's face it consumerism isn't the same as it is in 2024 as has been in previous years which is even why myself in the car industry and the car industry has been imploding while I've kind of backed down on certain things that I do and certain things that I purchase, which is why I'm kind of cooling off on my Alfa Romeo purchase for now because of the fact that things are just going crazy and it's just an unpredictable market. We're kind of waiting until after what happens here in the US, especially with the election and what you know what's going on there moving forward before I make any purchases. But I'm not the only one thinking this way. A lot of others are as well. And again, the pockets are dry to a lot of consumers these days. So they're getting the things that they need, not the things that they want. And they're getting the necessities, not the luxuries. So with that said, Maserati is suffering, but they blame marketing. Yes, CEO Costavares said that the reason why Maserati fell 15,300 units to just 6,500 cars being delivered this year, well, it's marketing. And Tavares said himself, in quotes, with Maserati, we have the right cars and we have the right technologies. We can offer thermal or 100% electric luxury sports cars. And if sales are sluggish, right now, it is a matter of marketing. We have also improved a lot on the quality front, but we need to work on marketing. We lack prospects and leads. We need to reach potential customers and deliver the right message for the right positioning. Now, I agree with a lot of what's said. Maserati has definitely done a complete 180 flipped when it comes to the product that they are offering, the quality that they are offering, so far and so on. And the fact that they have ICE models and electric models they have I mean, basically a wide range of vehicles when it comes to what is on offer versus the powertrains and the models that we have here. Now, with that said, I know that the Levante, Ghibli and Quattroporte are on their way out, but they are currently still being made in the 2024 model year. Next year as 2025, well, we'll see what happens there, but they're supposed to be done for. So currently, as of right now, as of 2024, there's a wide range of cars. You have the Quattroporte, you have the Ghibli, you have the Levante, you have the uh, Gracale ICE model, you have the Gracale electric model, you have the MC20, you have the Gran Turismo, you have the Gran Cabrio, and you have both of those in their electric models as well. There's a lot on the Maserati side as far as range goes. So where's the problem? Again, Tavares says marketing, but I feel like a lot of people know the brand, know what Maserati offers, and obviously I've been doing what I can on my side, but I'm just one person here in the United States. Why haven't more people kind of come over to the Maserati side see what they have to offer and fall in love like a lot of us have over the previous years? I'm gonna read some comments for you guys and it's not gonna be pretty. There was a post on Instagram, which I'm looking at on my monitor here from Hype Whip uh, that was just posted uh, three hours ago as of me making this video. And they, you know, basically are regurgitating what I just said here about Maserati sales and blaming marketing for the 2024 model year. And the comments from either haters or, you know, uh, potential clients or past clients or people in the industry or just everyday average people who know about the brand, maybe from good or bad stigma. Well, they left their comments and I want to let you guys know what they had to say hearing from consumers, but this is gonna be an opportunity for you to put your two cents and your thoughts down in the comments below on why Maserati has dropped in sales because with my introduction, I kind of told you where we are as consumers in the world today with so much going on, 
I think that's going to be a big reason of why we're seeing, um, you know, a decrease in these kind of items that are being bought. It's not just Maserati, people all over the place when interest rates are crazy, when markups has been crazy, when everything has just been super expensive in this world. This is where we're at. So with that said, let's get over to those comments. So again, this is on Hype Whip on Instagram, and you guys can go and read these comments yourself. I'm not making any of this up. Um, and obviously by the time you get there, there's going to be a lot more comments than what I'm reading, but here we are. I'm just going to read the comments, not the usernames, just to kind of cut this down a little bit. But first one says overpriced old tech, unreliable ASF as, as, and not a baby Ferrari any longer. Now see, that's somebody from the outside looking in because they said old tech. There's no old tech in Maserati. Unreliable, again, that's, you're going to see that a lot. But again, there's going to be some people who don't necessarily know that Maserati has new tech. So maybe Tavares is right that they haven't been marketed enough to where people see that they've changed up when it comes to their technology and their products. So again, this might be proving the point. Um, somebody said, remember that one guy that bragged about being able to beat anyone in his Ghibli and the entire internet roasted him for driving a $80,000 Chrysler 300? If you guys don't know, that was the, um, the Maserati guy on TikTok. And I don't know if he was doing that for clout or he really believed what he thought he believed. But yeah, that, that's exactly who he was talking about. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. Um, nothing wrong with the car because looks absolutely gorgeous. Love that. And the thumbnail for their model um, here, which will probably be close to what my thumbnail is, is an MC20 uh, GT2 Stradale. So maybe they're basing it off of that. Um, a date, I daily a 2012 Quattro Porte. Car is unbelievably fun to drive and I get tons of compliments. Just take care of it and it's a great car. Nothing beats the sound of a Ferrari built V8 engine. There you go. So good compliments from a Maserati owner, you know, as of today. Uh, the first thing one thinks Maserati is depreciation and unreliable. If they tackle those issues, they might go places. So that has been always the big taboo thing about Italian brands in general, but Maserati for sure. The depreciation and the unreliability. If this can be managed, maybe this will be something that people will kind of start to look at and say, hey, maybe I will be comfortable driving a Maserati moving forward. Let's see. Two more cylinders and all the issues are gone. Well, not gone, obviously, but no one cares about them because just listen to it. So that was another thing is losing the V8 engine and power supply from uh, Ferrari, you know, going to V6s, while they do sound good, and especially the V6s in the Quattro Porte, Levante, and Ghibli, the V8 was really where it was at when it came to a naturally aspirated one in the Gran Turismo or the twin turbo V8s that were in the Trofeo models or the 334 or V8 Ultimas, and then also the Quattro Porte GTS. A lot of people like the V8 sound of Maseratis, and Maseratis were really known well, you know, when it comes to uh, us in the U.S. at least, it's for their sound and obviously respected around the world because of their sound. Someone else said, but the MC20 is so beautiful. Another person said, or maybe make the cars a bit reliable. So again, reliability is going to be Maserati's biggest hater. A couple more comments say they're overpriced, giving their history of depreciating. Um, upcoming electric Maseratis, yikes. Um, overpriced for a very unreliable car. Uh... This MC20 looks cool. I don't know if that's just me. Again, it's the MC2, uh, MC20 GT2 Stradale. Um, let's see. That one is... Electricity is actually going great with the laughing face. So that's a very sarcastic comment. So again, these are some comments that I feel like people are just kind of going back to reliability and the pricing. But again, that is how this is playing out for Maserati moving forward. And I kind of want to know what you guys feel. Hearing some of the comments, knowing your know-how, your expertise, your experience with the brand, and from the outside looking in even, what do you guys feel? Is this a thing of you know Maserati not being marketed correctly because their range is so wide maybe they need to get to certain crowds, you know, or maybe there's just people who look at Maseratis and think, well, they're too expensive, they're expensive to fix, they're unreliable, or the depreciation factor. There's a lot of things that people could think about that might not necessarily be the issue moving forward, but with that said, they don't know because they haven't been marketed to the car, they haven't been introduced to it, and they haven't seen what Maserati is putting out in today's market. So again, I wanna know what you guys think. Is it all these plagues and issues 
and everything that everybody thinks about Maserati that's keeping them from buying the cars? Or is it the economy, the headspace of everyone making sure that they make calculated moves, that they don't overspend, that they are saving as much money as possible because of what's going on in the world? Drop those comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you agree with Maserati's side and Stellantis? Or do you agree with the consumer? Or do you have your own reasons why Maserati? Well, they're just delivering few car, fewer cars in the 2024 model year. It is what it is. It's a lot of car brands. But drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, this is a little different style. Um, definitely let me know. Um, give the video a big thumbs up. Share it obviously like it and all that good stuff and also check the links in the description you guys want some bronze rise merch or you guys want to you know help donate or anything like that you can always do that or just subscribe click the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos guys we will see you in the next one peace